Okay, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at a question off of the AP Calc AB exam. So the year that this was on the exam, it was question number two on the free response section. So we were allowed to use a calculator. I have my graphing calculator and one is gonna show up on the screen here so you can follow along with what I'm doing. So let's take a look at the problem. Okay, the rate at which people enter an auditorium for a rock concert is modeled by the function r given, let me write it down, So 1,380 t squared minus 675 t to the third from t equals zero to t equals two hours. And r of t is measured in people per hour. No one is in the auditorium at time t equals zero when the doors open. The door closes and the concert begins at time t equals two. Okay, so part A asks, how many people are in the auditorium when the concert begins? Well, I'm not given a function of how many people are in the auditorium, but I am given the rate at which they enter. So if I integrate r of t, over the whole time interval, I'm gonna get the total number of people in the auditorium. So this is kind of the same thing when you integrate velocity to get total distance. So let's go ahead and set up this integral. So I have the integral of r of t dt, and my bounds of integration are gonna be the same as my time boundaries, so zero to two. Now you can calculate this integral by hand, but since this is a calculator question, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my calculator. So the first thing I wanna do is plug r of t into my y equals. So go to the y equals button on your calculator, make sure all of your graphs are cleared, and let's go ahead and type r of t into y1. So 1380, it's easiest to use x on the graphing calculator, so I'm gonna put that in my calculator, but let's just keep in mind that this is a function of t. x squared minus 675 x to the third. Okay, that's right. And then I can use the fn int command to evaluate this definite integral. So go to math, scroll down to number nine, and now I wanna put a function in. So I have r of t and I could type it out again or I could use vars to pull it from y1. So go to vars, over to y vars, select function, and then we put it in y1, so pick y1. Now I need a comma and the variable that I'm integrating with respect to, which is x, another comma, and now I need my bounds of integration, which are zero to two. So I'm gonna say lower bound, comma, upper bound, close parentheses, and go ahead and hit enter. And it gives me 980. But I'd really like some units for that. So we know that R of t was in people per hour, then I integrated with respect to hours, so this is just 980 people. And if you think about what this question is asking, how many people are in the auditorium when the concert begins, it makes sense that our answer would be 980 people. So on the exam, I would just write out a sentence that says at, t, at time t equals two when the concert begins, there are 980 people in the auditorium. Okay, let's check out part B. Part B asks us to find the time when the rate at which people enter the auditorium is a maximum and to justify our answer. So I'm optimizing r of t. And to do that, I wanna go ahead and find its derivative. So let's calculate that. So I have my calculator, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So 1380 times two, 2760. T 
minus, now let's do 675 times 3, 2025 t squared. Okay, so to optimize r of t, I want to find the t values where r prime of t equals 0. Well, by inspection, I can see that when t equals 0, both of these terms are going to be 0. So that's one possibility. And then let's go ahead and graph this to see if there are any other uh, zeros. So go back to your y equals. I'm going to put r prime of t in as y2. So 2760. Again, we're using x instead of t. x minus 2025 x squared. And to make sure that I only see r prime on the graph, I'm going to make y1 so that it just traces it and then is empty. So if you go and hit, hit enter, go through, you should just get the trace key. And that's what we want. Now let's go ahead and graph. All right, it's thinking. Still thinking. <laughs> and now I've got my graph. And I see that there's another zero. So I can find that using the calc command. So second trace. And then the second one down is going to be zero. Select that. Now I want to select left bound, right bound, and guess. But first, I want to make sure that I'm on y2. So check the upper left hand corner to make sure that you see y2, not y1. OK. So I select a left bound, arrow over to the right to pick a right bound. Now let's go ahead and guess. OK, and I get a 0 at x equals 1.363. OK, so let's go ahead and find the values of r for these two points. So I'm going to go to my table, second graph, and let's check x of 0 first, or r of 0. So remember to just look at y1. And I see that y1 of 0 is 0. Now let's check 1.363. That's a little bit harder, but I know a trick. Go to the home screen, hit X, and then enter. And I can see that it's stored this value here as X. So if I go to VARS, Y VARS functions, and I call up Y1 and hit enter, now instead of X being a variable, X is going to be treated as that 1.363, and I'm going to get an actual answer. And I get 854.527. OK. And since I'm working a closed interval, 0 to 2, let's go ahead and check r of 2 to make sure that that's not the greatest. So for this one, I'm going to go back to my table, find x equals 2. And I check y1, and I get 120. So I can see that r of 1.363 is the biggest out of all of those three. So that's my answer. And you want to write this out in a sentence. So I would say the maximum rate of people coming in occurs at t equals 1.363 hours. OK, so let's go ahead and move on to part C. OK, so part C says the total wait time for all people in the auditorium is found by adding the time each person waits, starting at the time the person enters the auditorium and ending when the concert begins. The function w models the total wait time for all the people who enter the auditorium before time t. The derivative of w is given. Let me write it down. So 
So w prime of t equals quantity 2 minus t times r of t that we worked with in the first two parts. Okay, and it asks us to find w of 2 minus w of 1, the total wait time for those who enter the auditorium after time t equals 1. Well, I'm not actually given w, so I can't just plug in 2 and 1. But I could take a definite integral of w prime, right? And if I integrated from 1 to 2, then I would get w of 2 minus w of 1. Right? Okay, so I'm going to do this in the calculator like before and use the f and int command again. So let's go to y equals, and for y3, let's plug in w prime of t. So I'm going to say quantity 2 minus x, and then instead of typing out r of t again, let's go vars, y vars, and call up y1 again. Okay, so that should be good. Let's go back to the home screen, math, scroll down to 9, I've got my f and int, and let's go and call up y3 which we just typed in to be w prime of t. So vars, y vars function, y3, the variable I'm integrating to, with respect to is still x, and now my bounds of integration are from 1 to 2. Close parentheses, let's hit enter, and I get 387.5. W of t gives wait time, which would be like t, which is going to be hours. So I could write this out and say that the total wait time for those who enter the auditorium after time t equals 1 is 387.5 hours. All right, let's move on to d. So d asks, on average, how long does a person wait in the auditorium before the concert begins? Consider all people who enter the auditorium after the doors open and use the model for wait time from part C. So in part C, we got the total wait time after t equals 1. But to find the wait time after t equals 0, I could perform almost the exact same integral, but if I uh, integrate from 0 to 2 instead of from 1 to 2. So let me go and set that up. Okay, but this time I want on average how long a person waits. So I should divide my total wait time by the total number of people in the auditorium at time t equals 2, which I found in part A to be 980. Okay, so now I'm all set, I just need to evaluate this integral. So on my calculator, I'm actually going to call up the previous command using second enter. I'm going to change my bounds of integration from 1 to 2 to 0 to 2. And then I'm going to go back to the beginning and insert a fraction 1 divided by 980. And go ahead and hit enter. And I get 0 0.776. And again, this is going to be wait time. So I'm going to say it's 0 0.776 hours. And you should write that out in a sentence and say, on average, a person waits 0 0.776 hours in the auditorium for the concert to begin. All right, now let's go ahead and check our answers. So let's start by looking at part A. There were two points for part A, one for the integral and one for the answer. And the integral they have is the integral from 0 to 2 of r of t dt, which I have right here. And the answer they got was 980 people, which matches mine. So we got both points for part A. Now let's look at B. This was worth three points. So the first point is given for considering r prime of t to equal 0. I have that. And the second point is for finding the interior critical point, t equals 1.363 which we found. And the third point is for the answer and the justification. So 
We chose the maximum at R of 1.363. And to justify, I mean, we went through all these steps, you know, R prime of t equals zero there, so it's a critical point, and then we check the endpoints, and that's the greatest. So we're all set there. Let's move on to C. Okay, so there were two points for part C, one for the integral and one for the answer. And the integral they have is the integral from 1 to 2 of w prime of t dt, which I have. And the answer they got was 387.5 hours, which matches my answer. So I got both points on C. Now let's look at D. There are also two points for part D, one for an integral and one for an answer. So the integral they have is 1 over 980 times the integral from 0 to 2 of w prime of t dt, which I've got. And the answer, which is 0 0.776 hours. Okay, so I got all nine points on this FRQ. I hope this video helps you better understand how to do calculator FRQs. And it's important to notice that even though the calculator was giving us a lot of the answers, we still had to interpret those answers for ourselves. So while the calculator makes things a little bit easier, we still have to think about the problem.